Scenes like this have become common for Dunedin residents, and local academic leaders say it's just a taste of a nationwide drinking problem. Professor Jenny Connor of Otago University is on a panel of experts who say alcohol advertising fuels the chaos, and they've released a report calling for change. We should phase out all sponsorship of sport in New Zealand and all association of alcohol brands with sport. And uh, this is important in other countries, but in New Zealand it's obvious that it's very important because sport is so influential. Panellists want all alcohol advertising and sponsorship phased out over five years, although they're comfortable with objective information like product names and prices. Connor says international research shows alcohol advertising works as intended, enticing young and old to drink more, and the rise of internet ads is creating further problems. With the almost universal use of, of social media by young people, there's no doubt that they get exposed to much more alcohol advertising and marketing than ever before. And it's, it's, it's very targeted to their age group. Recommendations in the report are in line with those made by the Law Commission in 2010. Most of those proposals didn't make it into new legislation surrounding alcohol, and Connor condemns the government for that, saying politicians are putting the alcohol industry ahead of public health. She says even a ministerial report on alcohol advertising has been ignored. And that's because the Prime Minister doesn't support taking action on alcohol marketing. Um, I don't expect that um, there'll be a government response to our report because they don't want it to get any airtime either. The Prime Minister wasn't available for comment, but Connor's hoping to attract his attention soon as leading local academics sound a call for action over alcohol advertising. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.